Hey, 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 you guys. So I've gotta be quiet because it's early in the morning. Where's my cell phone? Oh, girl, it's right here. Y'all, I like a love for me. Y'all know who she is. She is um, very unique in her approach to reviews and just her channel in general. Um, I knew her channel would, would start to blow up just from a few videos watching of hers. Again, a love for me, chocolate sister, very intelligent. Um, I, I, I even like the way she speaks. Yeah, she ain't ratchet like my ass. <laughs> oh, y'all, let me drink some water. I, ooh, I got up now, I'm at the table because I'm gonna be working on a, I haven't done this in a while, you guys. I have stickers and stuff and washi tape for my happy planner. That can make me relax. So you guys, y'all, you know, I mentioned in my last vlog, just excited about moving back home. But now the worrying is starting to creep up. I always, not always, I already would get a little bit of excitement anxiety though. It's on, you know what I mean? Like an excitement anxiety when it comes to moving. Let me stop doing stuff and look at y'all. But now things are gonna be changing a little bit more. And I wanna say, give a special thank you because I know they watch my vlogs every now and then to my friend and coworker, Christine. She's has been giving me some advice. I, I basically was trying to tell her to hush up. I didn't want to hear everything. So things are gonna be switching a little bit in our household. So you guys, I'll be the first one to admit I'm spoiled. I'm spoiled in a way that I have a great husband who has always provided. Um, I ask for, he asks me for nothing. If something needs to be done around the house, he does it. If renovations need to be done, he does it. Without saying, hey, can you put in on this? Um, I can't tell you what the mortgage is because I've never paid it. Um, but on the flip side, I pay a lot of the, I don't know why I'm telling you all this, I'm just gonna let you know why I'm having a little bit of anxiety now. I pay a little bit of the small bills. I manage all of the uh, bills like that, everything. The only thing he manages is the mortgage, but all the household stuff I manage. Oh, and if he's, if someone's coming over to fix stuff or I manage it. So you see what I'm saying? That's how we work. That's how we, but now it's gonna be flipped to where, like I said, a little bit I mentioned a little bit in my previous vlog that my husband said he's tired and that he wants to travel and he's like, I don't want to be a slave to work. And there's other ways to make money besides a nine to five. So he's going to be looking at other opportunities here in the U.S. and specifically over in Kenya. But in order to do that, he needs to stop working, which means that we are going to flip who's responsible for what. I was like, what? You want me to do what? <laughs> no, no. So he's like, you think you can carry the mortgage and I'll carry the small bills, you know, especially in Texas, you know, we don't know what the utilities are gonna look like. So I'm like, um, <laughs> what's my calculator? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'll have his, I'll have my car paid off. I'm like, yeah, um, I'll have my car paid off and all of that and all, uh, yeah, I should be able to do that. I said that last week, right? But then, I'm, y'all, me, I am a, I am a plan A, plan B type of person. Anyway, the reason why I say thank you to Christine, she's like, you can do it, you can do it because they do a, a similar, um, not to give her business out there, but it's a similar situation in her household where they live off of her income and they're able to manage. She's like, we're, we're good. And they have a beautiful house and yeah. So I've been praying about it. Of course, you guys, it's one of the first thing I, first things I try to do is pray about it. 
but something that I do that I'm really, really, really bad at. And honestly, it's a sign of disobedience, I feel, is that I continue to worry. So just last week, I was praying and I heard the Holy Spirit say, or ask me, do you trust your husband? I'm like, yeah. Well, do you trust me? Yeah. Okay, so... I'm starting to cry, y'all. I'm sorry. So I heard the Holy Spirit ask me, do I trust my husband? And I said, you know, yes. And do you trust me? Yes. And then it went quiet. And I'm like, hello? <laughs> I'm like, I need some. He will be going back to school when we go, when we move to Texas. And if it doesn't work out, we will pull him out and homeschool him. But he will try school in Texas. And we have decided on Forney, Texas, you guys, which is 30 minutes from Dallas, an hour and a half away from my parents. That is perfect. And about 20 minutes away from my best friend. So yeah, Forney, Texas. And actually, y'all, we're looking at Forney, Rockwell, Rockwell. Am I saying it right? And uh, what is the other place? Didn't in Louisville is out of the question. Um... I was thinking about Bedford or Eulis, that area. He said, no, Heath. Heath is the other area. H-E-A-T-H. Those are your dollars. You know what that is. Heath. But Forney is what it's looking like. I, I need to look into Heath to see. But yeah, y'all, the housing market is crazy. Um, they're saying that it should dip down a little bit next year. The only bad thing about that is that we may not get as much money for our house now if, if it start if the prices start to go down but all right you guys so it is almost three o'clock and i've been cooking Jeez. look okay y'all sorry i had to i was disrupted when i saw some foolery over here <laughs> so um okay baby so making food we're having red lentils we're having chicken. Look at all these onions, girl. I need to turn this down. Onions are wilting down. <laughs> JB, help me with the onions. Once these onions cook down for another 20 minutes, I add the red pepper. That's gonna cook for another 30 minutes, just this alone, because you don't want to taste. Well, first of all, cooking the red pepper that long, it makes it not as hot okay i have my chicken here that i'm gonna be washing with some limes and salt i did not pick up carrots so we're gonna have cabbage with um potatoes and yeah hey, Allison, let me tell some uh, stories me. alex do you want your do you want your potatoes with the cabbage do you want cabbage? So I'm going to tell you this story. So, are you guys? So, um, one, one day we were in Aberson's, my own business, and then we see this lady with some huge wig that was supposed to, to, to be a ponytail. Like, it was like, oh. And it was supposed to, it was a wig that was supposed to be a ponytail. So, you're like, she got some ponytail crap up there. So, we, we were walking up, we were walking around, around, and we looked down the aisle, and, and we see her again. So, we're like, uh, we'll just go over there. And at one point, I think she saw me, so I just, so I ran. <laughs> I'm going to fix me a little bit of cabbage. So, I and like then, cabbage. It doesn't mess me up. And then, this is at this is at Albertsons, by the way. And then uh, we walk in the checkout, and on the next checkout, okay, guess who we see? Big, wig, ratchet ponytail lady standing right there.
I want to put some of this up some. Or like, no, she okay. We'll do this. Um, this is what my makeup looks like. This is a two-piece short set that I purchased through Amazon for 18 bucks, and I got it in different colors. Um, I have her in blue. You can see the shorts go here. I have it in blue. I have it in what colors? I have it in girl blue. I have it in like a blue burgundy and this blush pink. <laughs> Okay.